everybody, and welcome to another FAQ Monday. I am your host, Fluff. I hope you are well rested and are ready to kick this week into overdrive. And yay, it's Monday. And all in favor of a uh, mandatory four day weekend every weekend? Let's just make weekends four day weekends. Who's with me? If you do, then like this video. First question. What's your opinion on musicians, guitarists, not knowing or needing music theory as opposed to musicians who do not know a lot? Does the amount of theory knowledge base your rate of success? There seems to be a huge misconception, especially with guitarists, that you need to know music theory in order to write good songs. Music theory simply gives you the tools to create and understand music and is not a replacement for talent. Talent is what makes you write a good song that people want to listen to and want to buy, for example, or something that's just even pleasing to yourself. That's talent. That has nothing to do with music theory. Music theory is good and will serve you well in the writing process, but still that will not replace good songwriting and you don't need to know music theory in order to get by in the world. Um, most famous big rock stars don't know any music theory at all. Eddie Van Halen doesn't know any music theory and he seemed to do just fine with his mil millions and millions of dollars and uh, loads of classic cars and huge mansions. So you don't need it, but it is nice to have, absolutely. Hey Fluff, new sub here. So I bought a new Dean dime bag from hell and I wanna get it 100%. I'm sorta of new to this world and you said you always change stuff on your Gibson. So what do I need to replace? Tuners, bridge, and what do I need to get done? Fretwork? Do you have a video on that? I've been pretty vocal about changing all the hardware on my new Gibsons and that simply comes out of playing a while and knowing what a given piece of hardware will contribute to the overall guitar. I've been playing for just over 20 years and I just know what I like. And that's the only reason why I really change out the hardware. Not to say that the Gibson hardware is total crap, except for the tuners. Uh, but the bridges are absolutely fine um, and they sound good and there's nothing defective about them by any means. And that does not mean that you guys should be buying guitars and then instantly replacing the hardware just just because, just because you can. You good sir with you, your Dean in particular, I definitely recommend just playing it. Just play it, don't change anything. Play it for a while and see what you don't like about it over time. Uh, the guitar will tell you what you don't like about it. If you don't like the pickups, if they're not hot enough, well then change those once you decide they're not hot enough. But don't buy a guitar and be unfamiliar with it and then just start changing stuff out. That's the worst thing you can do and it's usually just a waste of money. So just give it time and then slowly change out the stuff that you wanna do. Hello, what's your opinion on Washburn Guitars? Washburn Guitars are one of those companies that I think really got it right as far as production and company growth. Washburn Guitars is one of the oldest, if not the oldest guitar company in America. They have been around since the 1800s. And it's nice to finally see a guitar company that still churns out a lot of product. They put out loads and loads of guitars, but the product quality, individually speaking, is still phenomenal. And these days, that is super, super rare because as a consumer, we are really taught to accept subpar standards. For example, Gibsons, Fenders, and other American companies that are putting out really subpar instruments these days. Um, there's always exceptions, PRS is another one, but the Washburn stuff, the frets are phenomenal. They have really, really good hardware. I don't personally play more of them because I find them physically to be pr pretty small and on the small side. And that's why I don't have the PXL guitar anymore, but um, I have huge respect for Washburn and they put out great stuff. They sound fantastic and they play even better. And for any of you guys looking for a good bang for the buck guitar, um, I highly recommend Washburn. Could you do a video on your bass setup and sounds? My bass setup is usually pretty simple. I will use either my Schecter P Custom or my uh, Squire Jaguar bass. And I will plug that straight into my Kemper and use the DI out from that to record the DI of the bass. And I will simply use that and I will copy a second track over sometimes and I will put a, uh, a Devon Dirty Bass uh, from Easy Mix 2 on that second bass and bring it down and distort it, um, because it's a very dirty sound. And I will put the DI and the bass both into a bass bus, and I, I'll use Wave's uh, CLA bass plugin, 
and a compressor after that, and that's it. If I want to do something a little bit more drastic or just looking for something different than the norm, I will plug my bass straight into my uh, Sans Amp RBI and go from that into the Two Notes Torpedo Live for a bass cab uh, sim and then record that and combine that with the DI and that usually yields very, very good results. I use this combination on the Fire Breather EP if you want to hear it. It's really, really, you can hear the strings just moving and it sounds fantastic. You also want to check out a good uh, bass tone video. You can check out my buddy Glenn uh, and his wonderful, wonderful video about how he gets metal bass guitar tones. This week, I highly suggest you go check out Wildwood Guitars YouTube channel. An amazing, amazing channel. They are, they are a store, I believe, in the Midwest. And the guy who demos these, guy, these guitars is Greg Cock. Now, you might remember him if you've seen some of the Joe Bonamassa videos. He comes out and plays with Bonamassa whenever Bonamassa's in town. And the guy is an insane player. He has like a real Les Paul, the player, Les Paul flavor to him, a very old 50s, just has a lot of swing to his playing and a lot of flavor. And I really, really enjoy listening to these videos as much as I do watching them. And I usually will put on a video and just listen to it while I'm working or doing something else. Insane player and he's hilarious as well. That is all the time I have this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Fluff. I'll see you next time. Sound checky, one, two. Sound checky. Habu, ba, 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 da, ba, do, ba, do. Too early for Christmas. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. I want some turkey.